All right, good morning, guys. So today we're going to the new shop. Just, ugh, excuse me. We're gonna go work on the. Give me one second. On the Mustang. Uh, what we have to do is we have to do an oil change, drain the water, put some coolant in there. Um, and then what we are also going to do is we are going to redo the head bolt because I had a couple people message me and comment and let me know that uh, uh, I didn't properly torque the heads and stuff like that and I was like okay I'll look into it. I looked into it. The uh, place that I found the specs for the head bolt was wrong so I have to, I found one that is so I got I, I gotta redo them. I gotta redo them so they don't blow up um, or they don't like stretch and snap or pull the threads out or anything like that because we just need to get it done. Um, which kind of sucks because this is like the fourth or fifth time I've taken this intake off in the last like two weeks. So, but I mean, there's not much I can do about that. I messed up, uh, tried to get it over to the new shop, a whole bunch of other stuff. So, um, yeah, but. We can go there, we can do that. We gotta go pick up the new head bolt, some oil, uh, stuff like that. So, um, I will see you guys at the shop. All right, so we made it to the shop. Um, let's pop this. I didn't put the hood pins in, nice. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we have to take the upper intake off because you can't get to the valve cover with it on, so we gotta take that off. Then we're gonna take the valve cover off and then just retorque that head uh, so that it is properly torqued, so that I shouldn't have any issues, so that the next time we drift it, it's just perfectly fine. I timed it uh, before, so it's all timed. Everything else should be good to go. Once the head is tight, we're gonna put water in it and make sure that there's no water leaks. Um, and then once that's done, we'll drain all the water, we'll put coolant, because if it gets cold and starts freezing, I don't want to crack the block um, while I'm not here. Uh, and then we're going to do an oil change. I went and got some nice thick uh, Lucas Racing Oil uh, 20W50. I'm going to try this. I'm going to see how it works compared to um, other stuff if we start losing oil pressure and stuff like that uh, and how long I can drive it without it uh, thinning out too much because I don't want to have to deal with the oil thinning out again, the pump seizing, snapping, losing all the oil pressure and causing a whole bunch of damage to this motor like we did um, the last time. So uh, yeah, I'm going to change into my coveralls and then we are going to start taking apart that intake and torquing those heads. I went and got new head bolts as well. They're in the box. Uh, so we'll get those out and we'll redo all that so that she's good to go. Okay, so before we start on the head bolts and stuff, um, the head bolts that I got are from uh, Feldpro. And I read the instructions and it says all the bolts are torqued to yield. So I called them to double check and they are saying that they usually uh, tell you to go by the service manual, but for these specific uh, bolts, they want you, all of them are torqued to yield, not just the bottom. So, I'm, just, I'm not saying that for this car or anything like that, you ha all of them are torqued to yield, but the Felpro bolts that I got are torqued to yield, every single one of them, the top ones, the bottom ones. So I just want to let you guys know what I will do is I will go um, on their website and get them to uh, email me the instruction pack that has all the torque specifications and I will put it in this video so that you guys can see that you know I'm not making this up. I'm not like I didn't mix up anything. I called them. I got instructions with the box. And I just want to let you guys know that that is, um, yeah, that that is what's happening. So it's not just the top or the bottom ones that are torqued heel; it's all of them. So I'm still gonna redo them because um, I already got the bolts. 
you know, they're brand new, we shouldn't have any issues, they already come with thread sealer on specific ones and stuff like that. So we're going to redo it, we're going to do it to the, spe the specifications that Felpro, the company that makes the bolts, says to do it so that we don't have any issues. But I just want to let you guys know that on the 95 Mustang GT using Felpro uh, head bolts, all of them are torqued to yield. Now that I call them and I'm 100% sure that this is what the pattern we're supposed to do and stuff like that, we're gonna do it. So let's get to it. So all the bolts are out. So these are the ones for the bottom. As you can see, they got thread sealer on it, right? These are the ones for the top. Now, they're already covered in oil, but I'm, over, I'm putting oil uh, around the head and all along the uh, threads. So uh, yeah, so that we can get the proper torque. But these already come with uh, thread sealer and these are for the bottom. And as you can see, they're different sizes, so they're hard to mix up, but both styles are torqued to yield. So I'll show you what that means in a minute, but we gotta thread these in and then start torquing them in sequence. Okay, so all the bolts are in. So this is the torque order. We gotta go middle, and then right, left, back, and then front. So we gotta do that in between 25 and 35 foot-pounds and then go back around and do 45 to 55 foot pounds and then do a quarter turn which is like 90, 85, 95 degrees. So that's what we gotta do, so let's do it. forgot to record my bad guys I just got super into it and just got it all done I double checked the torques of the rockers too so they're all good as well uh, valve covers on all that's done now all we need to do is put the intake gasket on the intake um, bolt everything up and then we are gonna jack it up drain all the water 
drain all the oil, fill up both, and then, uh, yeah, she should be ready to go. So I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, and then we got to zap strap some wires out of the way and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, once that's done, she is basically ready for an event. Um, I don't know what event yet, but we are going to just get her ready just in case, right? If a cool event comes up and we're like, oh, let's go to that. At least she'll be, bam, ready to rock. So let's do those things. So intake's on, everything's good. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up with water first. Um, what I actually might do is just pop that hose off there, put some water in there, make sure that none of the intake gas or anything on the engine is leaking, um, and then drain the water out and put some coolant in it. Um, and then we can do the oil change, and then she should be ready to rock. Okay, so I put about four liters of water in. Nothing's dripping, rad's filling up, so it seems like there's no leaks. So, what we're gonna do now is jack the car up, um, drain the water, put coolant, because uh, I don't want it to freeze. Like I said, and crack the block, and then the engine be useless, and we gotta find a new engine, and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, and then we'll do an oil change, and she's done. Okay, so I'm gonna stop procrastinating and saying stuff and rambling and just saying stuff like da 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 and actually get to work. So let's jack this thing up and drain that water.
that water. That was just from when I was taking like water hoses off and stuff. So it's it's fine. It's not leaking. All right, so everything's done. I gotta end this really quick because my SD card is full and I delete a couple of things. So that's done. It's gonna get ready for whenever I go to the next event. So like, subscribe. There's Jared. Saw, dude. <laughs> Jared, how do you like the new BMW life? It's pretty sick. Yeah. Pretty sick. Except for the fact that it's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Uh.